Hi, so Roxy Magurdia from the Migurd tribe is one of the strongest casters in the world of Mushoku Tensei. Right from the beginning, she possessed so much magical strength that she would be considered a one-man, or rather, a one-woman army on the battlefield. But let's start from the beginning. First of all, Roxy is roughly the same age as Rudius, meaning she was approaching her 40s when she first taught him. Despite her age, she looks like a teenager because she's a demon from the Migord tribe. They all have blue hair and except for Roxy, they are telepaths, which means they can communicate silently with each other. Not being able to do this, Roxy felt isolated in her village and decided to leave. She joined a teacher and, for some time, traveled the world as an adventurer with her group, the Rikarisu Gang, which also included the horse-headed Nokopara, to earn money. She eventually arrived at the Ronawa Academy, where she, let's say, behaved quite arrogant. Ultimately, she became a saint tier caster in water magic and went on to teach young Rudeus. At the time, Roxy made the impression of being aloof and appeared distant. But this was mainly due to her demonic body. She, in fact, was still full of herself. But young Rudeus, who was just a child at the time, quickly surpassed her in a way she couldn't, specifically in the aspect of casting spells without voice or incantations. This was a new experience for her, realizing that there were talented humans who achieved more in their younger years. This reignited Roxy's own desire to study and led her on a journey to the kingdom of Sharoni, the homeland of Prince Pax and Prince Zenoba. There she taught young Pax, and eventually reaching the king tier as a water caster. This was something she achieved through the incentive to study and improve, which was ignited by Rudeus's talent. So why am I telling you all of this about Roxy Magurdia's life history before discussing her strength? It's because all of this is relevant to understand why Roxy was initially a bit arrogant and self-absorbed, and why she continued her studies. Roxy is, as mentioned earlier, a miniature army, and it has nothing to do with her physical size. Starting as a water saint, she was the equivalent of 1,000 men on the battlefield, and as a king-tier caster, she became significantly stronger. It's not uncommon for kings and rulers to lower themselves beneath their social status and offer privileges, wealth, and fame, just to hire as many saint-tier casters and fighters as possible right before a war. And this was also done to prevent the enemy from securing their services first. So, Roxy herself is of decisive importance for most kingdoms in the world of Mushoku Tensei, and she's well aware of her strength. She also often explores entire labyrinths and dungeons by herself, always in search for a certain someone. The fact that she could easily offer her services to an entire kingdom underscores her significance. Now let's take a closer look at her spells. Firstly, she excels in water magic, allowing her to provide large quantities of drinking water, essentially making her self-sufficient while traveling the world. She's also capable of using a water ball. Rudy, using this spell, was able to blow a hole in a roof, and Roxy, without much effort, could break through a roughly arm-thick tree. Behind the water, there's a lot of pressure, and thanks to Rudy, we know that part of the mana is used for the form and speed at which the water ball travels. Water cannot be compressed, so a water ball is more like the equivalent of a wrecking ball than a water bomb. And although she can't use silent magic herself, Roxy was able to significantly shorten the spells, allowing her to cast them faster. This provided her an advantage in combat, especially against other casters. Roxy also possesses relatively large mana reserves, though not as extensive as Rudeus's. However, they are still quite decent. In addition to water magic, Roxy is also proficient in other types of magic. She can use ice magic, such as Icicle Field, which freezes enemies in a nearby radius. Roxy has also mastered fire magic, although not at the saint tier level. Still, she can cast spells like Burning Place, which engulfs approaching enemies in a wall of flames. Furthermore, Roxy is skilled in advanced tier earth magic and used Earth Fortress to protect a horse that was accidentally hit by her lightning before. She's also knowledgeable in healing magic, being able to heal a variety of injuries, although she can't regenerate limbs or something similar. Roxy also has learned the spell Squall, which is at the advanced level, allowing her to summon rain. The villagers were delighted with this, showcasing that magic has substantial civilian applications and the same had been said by the headmaster of the Ronawa Academy. Naturally, rain can also be used to wash away tracks or extinguish fires, making it more useful for military or semi-military purposes. 
rather than only in civilian contexts. Furthermore, these civilian applications, especially with water magic, give casters significant economic importance. Roxy can also employ something called melded magic, combining the effects of different spells. For example, she can use Icicle Field and Water Splash to cast Frost Nova, which covers many enemies in a large radius with a hard layer of ice, temporarily freezing them in place. Lastly, let's revisit her formerly stronger spell, Cumulonimbus, which is essentially a storm cloud. As the name suggests, this spell conjures thunderclouds, causing heavy storms, heavy rainfall, and most importantly, lightning strikes over an extended period of time. This spell can be used to hinder enemy troops' advance, obscure their vision, and reduce their numbers with lightning strikes. Many lightning bolts come down from the sky once this spell takes effect. Because of this, Roxy had to go far, far away from the village with Rudy to avoid accidentally causing damage. Later on the demon continent, Rudy wanted to use the spell to destroy the city of Rikarisu before Rijerd intervened and talked sense into Nokopara. Now you might be thinking that Roxy is at the king tier now, so she must have access to a spell much more potent than Cumulonimbus. And you would be right. However, the significance of that spell in the later storyline, not just in Mushoku Tensei, means I will dedicate a separate video to Roxy's king tier spell. Okay, bye.